Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today we're putting on the tin foil hat and making some predictions and prognostications about changes to Nurgle points in the upcoming General's Handbook. So, we know that the General's Handbook is coming probably end of June, beginning of July. Um, you know, all things going smoothly as planned. Around now is probably about the time that things getting finalized. So, um, I think it feels like a good time to talk about where I think the points should be and what my expectations are of what they're going to do. So, here is a spreadsheet of just the heroes. Um, we have a lot of heroes in Nurgle. So, what I did was took each hero their current points value uh we know historically from the changes they've made in the general's handbook they usually do big changes are 20 percent smaller changes are about 10 percent and then they just get rounded off to the nearest 10 so with that the middle columns there those are what i am saying i think the units need to be and then all the way over to the right, that is what I expect Games Workshop to actually do. So I think Rodigus and the Great Unclean one, I think those are pretty fair at 340. I don't expect there to be any changes. I don't really think they need to change. Um, the Glotkin, though, I think is currently way, way overpriced. Uh, I think bringing that down in line with the great unclean one at 340 that would be about a 20 percent reduction so i feel like that could be fair uh, i think if we get a reduction it's going to look more like a 10 percent, maybe even a five percent reduction uh so that would bring it to four 400 or 380 that's about, I don't think we're going to get any lower than 380 out of Games Workshop for the next General's Handbook. It, it definitely needs to go down. It just is not good enough right now. Uh, the, all of the Heralds of Nurgle, I think, all need a haircut. The Sloppity Bile Piper and Spoil Prox Scrivener. Those are both just not good, and even 90 points is not enough for those. The Poxbringer could easily go down to 100, but ultimately I don't expect that those are actually going to change. I feel like Games Workshop is going to be okay with where they're at. Epidemus, he just sucks so bad, he needs probably more than a 20% reduction. But I know 20% is sort of the ceiling they're putting in. So I think maybe we'll get a 10% reduction in Epidemus. He doesn't get play in competitive lists. He's really not powerful. I don't understand why he's as high as he is. Maybe we'll get an adjustment down to 180. Not entirely sure. Horticulus Slimex. He's currently at 220. I think it really needs to go down to like 180. He needs the 20% reduction to get down to 180. I think we'll probably only just see the 10% down to 200, though, if he moves at all. Um, now, looking at all of the Magath Lords, Bloab, Morbidex, and Orgots, they're all currently at 240. I'm thinking they need a 20% haircut down to 200. Actually, it would be a little bit less than 20%. I've kind of rounded those up. And I think if we see a change at all, it's going to be more like the 10% change to 220. I think those are just not good. Like, their scrolls are bad. They have a lot of wounds, and they're, like, mount mounted on a monster, which gives them this points premium, which I think we see in a lot of these different heroes that we have a premium on their points because a lot of them are seven wounds. And, you know, particularly like the Nurgle Heralds, they all have, you know, the five up disgusting resilience. 
so they're more durable, so I think they're all getting a premium because of that, but I don't think it's really justified. I think we're paying more for that than we reasonably should be. So our Rotbringer Sorcerer, he's currently at 120. I think we could bring him safely down to 100. I think that would actually be pretty fair. Ultimately, though, I think no change there, and no change for the next several. Uh, Fecula Flyblown and the Worm Spat is currently at 180. I think it could probably go down to 160, but uh, it just came out, so I think they're probably going to stand firm on their points. Gut Rot Spume, I would drop him another 20. He's mostly got the premium, I think, because he's 7 wounds. Harbinger of Decay, same deal. I think he should go down another 20. I feel like 140 would be a fair price for the Harbinger of Decay. Lord of Afflictions and Lord of Blights and Lord of Plagues. Lord of Afflictions, I think, needs to go to 180, and I think that's actually a reasonable expectation that I think Games Workshop would do that. He started out at 220, and he got knocked down in the last General's Handbook, and I think he'll get another peg down next time. Lord of Blights and Lord of Plagues, I don't think they're going to change them, but they're just not that good. They're really taxes and battalions, so it, it's unfortunate, but I think they're not going to change, particularly because they're just both seven wound heroes with a four-up save that seems to just make them more expensive. Moving on to units. Plague bearers are the ones that I think really need a major change here. I think if we, they went down to 100 for 10, I feel like that would actually be pretty fair. Uh, and then 260 for their discount at 30. Again, I think that would be pretty fair. They would you know, become a much more interesting choice up against Blight Kings. Because where we're at right now is 30 Plague Bearers is the same number of points as 10 Blight Kings. 10 Blight Kings gets you 41 wounds, and the 30 Plague Bearers just gets you 30 wounds with a 5-up, five 5-up, five and you know, the 4-up save is roughly equivalent to the 5-up, five 5-up. Five so you're really paying a premium on those Plague Bearers for their extra ability to get minus one to hit and minus two in shooting. But I don't really suspect that they're worth that much. Um, I do think it's possible they get a little bit of a haircut. So in the Blight War box, they were at 110 to 70. And I think that's actually pretty fair. I think they could easily make that adjustment back down to that, and then that's still giving you a reasonable comparison to Blight Kings. I think Blight Kings are like the yardstick for this army. You know, everything always kind of goes back to, is it better to do this or just another unit of Blight Kings? So I think what we need to come up with some better value uh considerations here to balance that out because some of these things they just don't hold up against blight kings and i think blight kings are perfectly fairly pointed um, i'm not proposing any change to them at all and i don't think they're going to be changed puscoil blight lords i think um i really anticipate and i think is correct a move down to 180 and I hope they do the same with Plague Drones. Plague Drones, I think, could even use to go down further, potentially. But keeping them at 180 for now, going kind of baby steps, I think is certainly worthwhile. Beasts of Nurgle and Nurglings, I think they both need some movement down as well. I think maybe we see Nurglings go down to 80, but... That is really all speculative. I, I'm not really sure. So what I will do is once we actually get the new points in the new General's Handbook, I will revisit this and see how accurate my predictions were. 
I think that the changes that I'm proposing in general would free up a decent amount of space to either squeeze in another hero or some endless spells. It would certainly make Glotkin a lot more viable uh, because he's just not taking up such a huge chunk of your list. Um, I think Nurgle could be really solid with those kinds of points adjustments. Um, the points adjustments that I anticipate, while they'll be helpful, I don't think it's going to significantly move the needle on the army overall. It's just going to be, I think they're just going to give it a light touch. And that kind of a light touch is maybe going to give you an extra endless spell um, and not really enough for a real unit of any type. So that's about it for now. Hope you guys had fun whipping on the tinfoil hat with me. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget that we do have a Patreon that you can sign up for. Uh, I don't believe in having any sort of, uh, you know, locked content or anything like that. It is just supporting the channel to help us improve our content by buying new equipment and things like that. So anyway, guys, that is all. I will see you all later.